Hello everyone, welcome to part 5. This is the part in which I'll be showing you how to finally finish your aura and test it on your player. So, so far what we've done is make the VFX, we've done the title, the constraints, and the animation. This is what we've made so far. Now to actually get started with our music, we're going to go ahead and add something in our humanoid root part called a sound. What this will allow us to do is play audio from that part. So to actually get your music, you have to go and look for it on the Roblox library, which is this right here. I'll leave the link in the description. Once you have the ID for your music, you can go ahead and just paste it into your sound ID. And this is the song I'll be using. So I feel it's a bit low, so I can adjust the audio to be higher right here. Now these are the main settings we're going to be using. We're just going to check to loop, playback regions enabled, and playing. What playback regions will allow you to do is control which part of your song you're using. So if you wanted to use 0 to 5 for example, you'd use this. But in this case, I want to use the entire song, so I'll just set the second number to a really high value. Finally, we're just going to go ahead and change the roll off max distance to 50 studs, so the music disappears when you're 50 studs away. So now we can actually go ahead and test out the song and see if it works. As you can see, this works perfectly well, so now we're actually ready to start packing our aura together for use. So the lazy method you can use to test this is to just duplicate the character that you worked on, call it starter character, and put it into your starter player. Make sure to get this name exactly right or this will not work. And now, our aura is attached to our player. But now it's also time for troubleshooting. As you can see, we have a problem right away. I forgot to take a lock to part. So here, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find all of my particle emitters and just check on locked to part. Here I make a mistake I realize later on, and it's that that I enabled lock to part onto my spinner part particle emitters. Those are not supposed to have lock to part because that will ruin the trail. As you can see, it's already better, but now we have a different problem. The spinner won't move with us. Usually, the reason that happens is because it's either anchored or it's just not welded properly. So in this case, as you can see, the weld is not properly made, it's supposed to be attached to anchor. But if we play it again, we see it's not gonna work, because now I can't move. The reason for this is because I miss that the anchor part is still anchored. So we're gonna make sure that it's unanchored. And now, this should work properly. Now this is where I realize my mistake, and I make sure that the particle emitters on the spinners are not locked to part. As soon as we spawn in, we can see the trails are fixed, and now our aura works. There is going to be one glitch with the bottom circle, or just any part that's below your player and that's welded to it. 
and that's just a Roblox engine bug. You can't really do anything about it. Perfect. Now, the aura is ready for us to actually implement onto our normal character. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do is to take the starter character that we just put into starter player and put it back into workspace, because this is what we just fixed. And now we're actually gonna go ahead and pack up all of the particles that we have, all of the parts, into one single part that is easy to attach. So to start off we're gonna duplicate the humanoid root part and make a part of the exact same size. We're simply gonna remove everything under the humanoid root part and we'll rename it to something different. As you can see if I just make it transparency 0, it's the same size as the humanoid root part. Now we're gonna go ahead and select everything that involves the aura. So in this case, all of the extra attachments, the point light, the music, and any part that you welded onto it. Oh, and the title as well. All we have left now is to check for any welds that used to be connected to the humanoid boot part and switch them over to be connected to the grouping part. And once that's done, we're gonna drag it over to server storage. To prepare this for being added to each player, we don't want the music to be playing regardless of it being added to a player, so we're gonna disable playing and later re-enable it inside of a script. So in just a second, I'm going to cut the video to show you a few things that I missed and that you might have missed as well, just to help you out to make your aura work properly. One thing that you have to make sure of when you're making your aura is that every single part that's involved in it has to have these properties except for the grouping part. So all of them have to be can collide, can query, and can touch false. And all of them will have custom physical properties set to the minimum zero and massless. The only difference for the grouping part is going to be that it's anchored. So this is the script that's going to actually do all the work of attaching the aura to our character. And the important parts of the script is that it works as soon as our character is added or respawns. It's going to clone the order that we just put in server storage, and it's going to set it up to work with our humanoid boot part. I'm gonna leave the script over in the description inside of a paste bin link. And now we're gonna play, and we're gonna see it attaches perfectly. Now the last thing that we're missing is the actual animation that we made earlier. To add that animation, we're gonna go ahead and add a local script inside of starter character scripts called animate. Make sure it's called exactly animate or it won't work. So for this part, it's really easy because it's gonna use the script that we made last time. I'm gonna leave a link for it in a paste bin as well. All we need to do is copy paste it into animate, except we're going to change one little thing in the script. So all we're going to do is we're going to change the humanoid definition to script.parent wait for child humanoid. Just make sure that the ID and the animation ID is correct, and now this should be working just fine. Let's go ahead and test it out. Our animation is working perfectly, and our aura is basically done. 
If it's not working for you, make sure that in your game settings, in Avatar, it's set to R6 by default, else it is not going to work. And this is going to conclude the series for now. So this is pretty much the end of the main part of the tutorial series, but there's definitely going to be more to come like updated tutorials and moon animator tutorials. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.